Testing Seven Biblical Promises, a Scientific Challenge. Introduction Honest atheists, with their commendable scientific mindset, have been disappointed by religion. Many assert, God doesn't work. Others, prayer changes nothing. Are there any proofs of God that a curious atheist or a skeptic could test for himself? Anyway, the Bible challenges willing doubters to apply their scientific method to its claims and promises. Without faith it is impossible to please him, for whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists, and that he rewards those who seek him. An experiment. Here is a theory to test. The God of the Bible exists. Start with a null hypothesis. God does not reward those who seek him. Here is a proposed test. Ask the God of the Bible to honor specific biblical promises. If the God of the Bible does not honor his promises, then we shall have grounds on which to doubt his existence. We set one parameter. Test only the God of the Bible and biblical promises. We are not dealing with a philosopher's God, which, admittedly, does not exist. Our method consists of six steps. Our method. 1. Review the promises listed below or others that are found in the New Testament of the Holy Bible. 2. Choose one that applies to a current situation in your life. 3. Formulate a request to God in your own words, asking Him to keep His promise in a verifiable way. 4. Watch for a result within a reasonable delay. 5. Draw a conclusion. 6. If you remain unsure, then you may repeat the experiment. Here are seven biblical promises that anyone may test. Promise 1 My God will supply every need of yours, according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Mention a real need that you have or know that someone else has. Speak to God in your own words, asking Him to meet that need, mentioning the name of Jesus. Promise 2 If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given him. Mention a question, challenge, or opportunity that requires wisdom to make a good choice. Ask God to make his wisdom known to you. Promise 3 Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice, and opens the door, I will come into him. Speak to Jesus, and ask him to come reveal himself to you, in a way that you can recognize. Promise 4 Give, and it will be given to you. For with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. Give something to someone in need, then ask God to bring the same amount back to you. Promise 5 Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled. What is causing you fear, grief, doubt, or anger? 
Tell Jesus about it, asking him to solve the problem or to give you a sense of peace about it. Promise 6 If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Mention something you have done, thought, or said that you know was wrong. Ask God to forgive you that deed and to remove your guilt feeling. Promise 7 If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. If you are ready, then tell God that you believe that he has raised Jesus from death to life. Then confess to someone that Jesus is now your Lord. Expect God to cause your mind and your behavior to change radically. Conclusion If you did not get satisfactory results from this experiment, then it is this video that has failed you.